serial adventure without a narrator. How about this? Our intrepid heroes stepped foot on Gorgon, and in the distance, a drinking establishment beckoned. Um, if you say so. But I don't think that's, uh... I don't think that's a very good cereal. You're basically asking for a bar to be made, and that's that's the whole premise of your, your new little TV series, if you will. I don't think that... Although I may be mistaken since everything in, you know, Halcyon is absolutely ridiculous, but I don't think it's going to make you a lot of money. Felix, to be honest, but hey, whatever, teach his own. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. And that's all that matters. So let's stop this chatter and go. With that being said, where are we going? Oh, oh, we finally got access to this place. Well, to be fair, I never actually tried to go in there. I tried to go into a different building, I think. Or maybe it was this place? I don't know. Let's hope Jasper's pharmaceutical special blend hasn't affected his voice enough to keep it from opening the door. It is this place. Doc this Lowe is seems like the kind of guy who needs to get the last word in. Yes. This was the place that I needed to go for this other mission. What is it called? This one. In the Cam Lab storage. Yep, this is it right here. So we could do this two birds with one stone. Is currently experiencing a heightened security event. Accessing this facility requires voice modulated passphrase. Please speak the passphrase. Uh <laughs> Oh god, don't mess this up. Uh, passphrase? Error. Passphrase not recognized. Please speak the passphrase. Play Dr. Lowe's audio. We attest to the zest with our hands on our chest. <laughs> impressed as our guest by what we finessed. You are blessed to ingest what we thoroughly test. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. That is so stupid. Stupid. Passphrase accepted. Access granted. Welcome, oh my god. Dr. Jasper Lowe. That was so stupid. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead, take this opportunity. I'm going to change this for this, since I'm almost certain they're not gonna be in the same rooms, and then I'll obviously switch over to this once I get this last uh, piece of information that I need. Man, had I been patient, I could have probably got it along the way. So let's see here. It's only 49 meters away, so it's literally right around the corner. Doc Lowe used to run this place. Yes, we know. He made the drug that turned decent folk into marauders. Uh, yeah. Imagine living with that kind of guilt. I already know this, Felix. We just left him. Just got back from uh, his little science experiment slab area. You should know this. You were with me. I think he was taking too much Adrena time. Oh god. Why is this guy such a douche? More threats from the Aether. How pleasant. Must be our shadowy nemesis from the OCI. Of course it is. Because why wouldn't it be? I'm not super looting this... Oh, God. So it might actually be that way. Although there's a whole area over here. Marauder crack shot. This place is huge. Alright, well for now I'm going to focus on this. And then I'll loot everything on the way out. Hi. Got him. You guys are... You guys are good. There it is. Roscoe, it's Georgie. If you're hearing this, you must still be holed up at the Sprat Shack. And you're not gonna like this one bit. I was trying to steal our recordings when things went crazy. I know, I know. Like I said, sorry. 
And I'm gonna be in a heap of trouble if I don't get them. So if you want to save my bacon, you need to do it for me. I need the three interviews we did with Ambrose, this one here, plus another recording of my own. I left that last one with a guy who owed me a favor at the garbage processing office in the chemical waste ravine. I'll leave an automech near Stellar Freighting. It'll want all five recordings, plus a passphrase. Glacial age. Oh, and don't listen to my log, all right? Just, just stay safe and keep your head down. That was Georgie again. Those things are good for, you know, passive lore. So we have all of it, right? What's the last? Return uh, to Roscoe. Okay, so now we can switch over to this one. So we can progress and kill two birds with one stone, essentially. Uh, splash resistance. No, thank you. Nope. All right, there's nothing back here that I need nor want. I'm not going to read this, but I'm going to just skip through this. My throat kind of hurts. Or it's kind of like sore right now, so I really don't want to read right now, to be honest. All right, well, it looks like that's everything. In this room so let's go ahead and get going it's not too far either so there's down there doesn't really look like there's much down there though I will still check it out but first Looks like we're doing this all right you guys oh god let's focus on this guy guys where'd he go ah oh. Nice. Alright, screw it. We're going to war. It's three against one, buddy. Nice. So let's go back upstairs and do what we were trying to do before we got rudely interrupted by those freaking auto mechanicals. We got some exploring to do. Nah. Probably never was, to be fair. Nothing here is... Ooh, Jasper's storage key? I'm glad I came over here. So where... What's that key to, though? Obviously, is his room or his storage, but where's his storage at? That is the big question. This guy literally drank himself to death, it looks like. Although that wouldn't explain all the blood that was around him. Alright, let's go upstairs. Found a vending machine. Alright, let's go. This place was useless. So before we progress further, I do now. Oh god. I do want to explore down here now. At least a little bit. Okay, so that's nothing. There's some sort of a cave over here, though. What is that? I'm on it. Primal Bright? This should do a lot of damage to him because it's plasma. You mean Spacer's Choice? Oh, wait, that's where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so... Since this is the way I think we're supposed to go, let's go back and check what's up there. Not to mention here. Some more dead bodies. I'll let you guys take care of this guy. I'll take care of this one. Perfect. Yeah, there's nothing around here either. Just this that I don't want to read. So let's go just randomly touch things. Oops. I don't know what I did, but I did something. Maybe. 
Oh god, there's a big electrical fence. This is the other side of the door? Crouch, guys. All right, hushing up. I don't care about the hushing. Oh, wait. Oh, so we went around that way. Interesting. So let's go through the tunnels again then. See what we find. So we already did this part. You know, when we walked into the lab, I thought, what's the worst thing we could run into? And of course, the answer had to be primals. Yep, like this guy right here. Honor, boss. Here they come. Yeah, dude, this weapon is super strong against them because it's plasma. Ah! What is going on right now? Oh god. I got you guys. Ooh. Is there another one? Where is he? Yeah, dude, this off this weapon is super strong against them because it's plasma. Like it's pretty much one shotting the primals. Anything else? Wait, are we going? Are we going backwards? Where are we? Looks like we're here. Attack him. Get out of here, you combat drone. Let's go. Done so. Done so. It is. But what does that mean to us? Ooh. Night falls on Gorgon. Though I suppose it's always dark here in the void. The lab is empty, and I am at last alone. I'm preoccupied with thoughts of the single-celled xenocytes that make their home here on this rock. These primordial creatures persist despite the hostility of their surroundings. No, they require adversity to thrive. Perhaps that's why our bodies react to theirs. There is a harmony in us. The law didn't craft us for the void, yet we scrabble across its cold worlds, building, persisting, as the xenocytes do. We live. Against all odds, we live. But for how long? I don't know. You tell me. You're the scientist. Ooh, another toy. You are remarkably intent on scuttling my every plan to end you. How inconsiderate. Especially after I've gone to so much effort to see Gorgon rest in peace. It's a good thing then that I finally figured out what you're after. I'll see you soon. Is it just me, or does it seem like our mysterious nemesis watches too many Aetherwave serials? <laughs> Are we stalked? Is that Duh. what's going on? Because I don't mind having secret admirers and all, but this is getting a little creepy. So my... My thing is, why does he keep... Like, he doesn't do anything besides watch us. That's pretty weird. Jasper Lowe. Wait, so this is his office. That means... The key is probably for here. Override sentences, sure, why not? Let's see if we can find. Oh. Halcyon's got no shortage of creepy science labs, boss. But this place? There's something real twisted about this place. I dare say it seems like the inmates were running the asylum here. Uh, yeah, something very wrong is happening. You know me. I don't got a head for science and formulas and whatnot. But even I can tell that something went horribly wrong here. And a lot of people got hurt. I know it ain't saying much, being Spacer's choice and all. But Doc Lowe and his team was their best and brightest. How could this happen? Um. Hmm. 
They were pushed to do impossible, the impossible by people who weren't accountable. Sadly, that's just business as usual in Halcyon. I don't know if anybody's gonna take the fall for what happened here. It could be Miss Ambrose if she's not careful. Perhaps. That's why we're helping her. Is that every- there's gotta be, uh, is it this? Yes, we found it! Oh, I swear, I thought that was just- I thought that was it. Has there ever been an experiment involving primals that wasn't a total catastrophe? Watch and learn! Probably not. Oh god, don't throw it at me. That was close. There's gotta be something nice in here, huh? It's gotta be. Or maybe not? Aqua Regina. It's actually pretty strong. It's 19. It is more than... It does more damage than my science weapon. It does look pretty cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I wish there was a blue version. I'd... Can you put shock damage on one of these? If you can, that's probably how you just, how you turn it blue though. There's like an enemy around here, but I can't see him. Is all that's down here just the Aqua Regina and some primals? I guess so. All right. So what's next? Oh, Olivia's journal. Where is it? We can finally get it apparently. Ah! It's not, it's not very strong against prime, I mean, against the auto mechanicals, but I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Seeing as the damage is acidic. Or, actually, acid, acid might be their weakness, huh? Status effect burn with acid damage. This is such a weird thing to say. I'm looking forward to a breath of fresh air after the stench of this place. Me too, Vicar. Me too. Let's go. So then, are we good to fat? Are we good to fast travel? So we go here. Ah, we haven't even been here yet. We literally just ran past it. It's that one cool looking building, I think. Synthesis and manufacturing center, huh? We made it this far. How bad could it be? Okay, well we will go in there in a second. But I'm not going anywhere without the destruction of all of these guys right here, so let's go. Oh, it's super strong against them. What's up, buddy? Stop shooting at me. Oh, you want some too? You're cute. Damn it, he shot me with some end ray damage. Eh. Let me see here. So what... So what what is our objective? I know it's to get the journal, but it should be at at the very top of the manufacturing center. So, all right, let's go. Oh, this is going to be interesting for sure. I wonder what's in here. Pam? Pam? 
kind of wish I brought Sam now. At least she's not hostile. Can I talk to her? Welcome to the Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufacturing Center, brought to you by Spacer's Toys. This productivity auto mechanical unit is at your disposal. Its normal duties involve the management of legacy operations analytics. However, due to the promotion, demotion, death, or injury to other managers of this facility, this unit is now the acting manager of the following departments. Reception, human resources, accounting, technical support, manufacturing, distribution, security. My Please God. Ask any questions about those departments to Pam. Answers not guaranteed. Are you the only one here? That'll make it easy. According to this facility's hierarchy, there are zero acting managers at this Spacer's Choice facility. Not to worry. If a middle manager cannot immediately be replaced, Pam can safely oversee 3.176 departments. When you're in a productivity pinch, Pam can pick up the pieces. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks like there are intruders in this facility. Protocol recommends speaking to the head of facility security right away. So you're managing... But you're managing more than 3.176. You're, it's like eight that you listed. Management stretched thin? That's okay. With safety protocols disabled, Pam can manage 12.678 departments with an estimated worker fatality rate of only 4.83 per week. Oh After my all, god. <laughs> Pam's purpose is to answer one question. How can I increase your productivity today? Wow. Of course. Uh... Pam, I need a boost in my pro productivity. How about some motivation? Spacer's Choice likes to maintain a positive work environment. So if you have to cry, please do so in the supply closet. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me about this facility then. The Adrena Time Synthesis and Manufacturing Center is where Spacer's Choice's newest product is being created. Get a leg up on the competition with Adrena Time. You are now in the lobby. The floors above you are the offices, the manufactory, and the Adrena Time Synthesizer. The floors below you are the sublevels and the synthesizer reactor. How can I increase your productivity today? Okay. So you're a productivity auto mechanical? Pam helps each and every member of the Spacer's Choice family be the best they can be. When you're managed by Pam, your workday gets unjammed. I like how she rhymes everything. I also like the fact that she has lipstick, a little bow tie, and a nameplate. <laughs> She's awesome. Uh, you're actually in charge of these people? Don't think of Pam as your boss. I'm just your pal. Here to make sure that every member of the Spacer's Choice family stays on task and on schedule. With Pam at the helm, you'll never be overwhelmed. <laughs> Uh, how do you keep people more productive? Feeling down? Pam is loaded with over a thousand encouraging messages, each designed to make you feel like an important member of the Spacer's Choice family. Schedule slipping? Not to worry. Pam tracks all of your deadlines and has the tools to whip your efficiency back into shape. You'll be a team player in no time, thanks to Pam. Uh, I'd never let a rust, uh, rust bucket boss me around. Uh-oh. Has dissident propaganda corrupted your workforce? Uh-oh. Not a problem. Pam comes equipped with a military-grade N-ray cannon and a coat of our <laughs> patented plasma proofing. With a 98.3% riot suppression rate, when Pam is here, your metrics have nothing to fear. Maybe I should be careful. I don't want How her to activate her today? combat stuff. What's all these bad bodies? Did you know that keeping your workers alive boosts productivity? That's why every you don't Pam say. unit comes equipped with the latest Spacer's Choice weaponry. When Pam's emergency combat protocols are activated, your investments are sure to be protected. Warning. Due to power consumption, 
Combat protocols cannot be activated when PAM's power is below 73% without deactivating managerial processes. Spacer's choice policy dictates that managerial processes take priority. This unit's power rating is 57%. Can you override that behavior? Pam is fully customizable to fit your preferred management style. With the correct override codes, you can alter any of Pam's behaviors at will. Some limitations apply. Spacer's Choice does not accept legal responsibility for any injuries or trauma sustained after altering Pam's behaviors. See manual for details. Uh... How can I recharge you? Hate messing with tangled cables or confusing batteries? With Pam, you'll never have to. Just pop in a Firefly brand industrial strength battery and Pam's ready to go. Out of batteries and need productivity now? No problem. Just hook Pam's power source up to another auto mechanical and Pam will get your employees back in line in no time. Man, I really wish I brought Sam. But I didn't know that this was going to happen. I'm not. I don't want her to engage your security pro How protocols. Can I increase your productivity today. I should go. I definitely don't want her to activate her security protocols. I don't want her to start attacking me. All right. Let's see what's here. Hello. Somebody's dead right here on the floor. What is this? Light machine gun mark three. Don't really need that, don't do we? No, thank you. There really isn't much here. By nothing much, I mean really there's nothing in this room. At least nothing that I want to take. So let's go to the opposite side. Because there's another door here. What is this called? Facilities office. Okay. So that's a no-go. And that one's barred. So I guess the only way to go is over here no, this way. Wait. That head's not spinning all the way around, is it? Wow. Well. That's not unsettling at all. <laughs> I'm this fountain still works. Me too, but he is right. That is very unsettling. Okay, so we gotta go that way, but let's see what's over here first. Uh, just some sealed elevators, it looks like. So forget it. Let's go upstairs. So yeah, there's enemies around here. You can see it on the little compass up top when I look in this direction. Point of interest, vending machine. Very nice, but I don't think I'm going to need them. Oh, get in there. Get in there. There you go. Huh. Man, I want a legendary shotgun. I don't really know why, I just do. You know what I really want? A legendary saber. Sentry saber. Those those weapons are pretty cool. There's like nobody up here. <gasps> this is gonna I digress. Got him. I'm on it. What's up, bro? You want some too? Get the crack shot. Yeah, those guys ran into a minigun. Wait. It's the crack shot. Done so. Alright. This room is clear. That didn't take very long. You got it. You can take care of them. Right now I just kinda wanna Whoa, look at that big guy. What is that a uh... Marauder Colossus or whatever that we found before. It might actually be because he does look pretty big. And
And the answer is no. Leave them to me. Huh? Come on, buddy. Ah. Got him. I almost hurt myself in the process, but. Oh, God. Speaking of a book out of Colossus, we found one. He's dead. Oh, I think I'm over encumbered. No, stop juking. Where'd you go? Hold on, let me see that armor. That looks sick. I think I'm gonna keep it. Oh, I'm butt naked. Sorry. Let's go ahead and, uh, do all of this, though. Just to make some room. Alright, I'm golden. In that department. Come here. Where'd he go? I swear, these guys are freaking ridiculous. This guy's ridiculous. He is fast. So the last room is right here. This has to be it, dude. Are we about to find her journal? This staircase is just like the board. Over-engineered to the point of absurdity. Eh, I can see your point. Oh my god, dude. We're about to get the journal. You guys go left. I'll go right. Um... What just happened? Get over your medical drone. Alright. You guys... You guys get the medical drone. God, they're destroying me. Oh! Great shot! I have no idea what just happened there. Pretty sure it was kill cam, but it went into some weird position. This is another medical dr Oh no, it's not. But here, you guys can you guys can take that one. Got him. What's in here? Hello. Dude, this is this lab is huge. I can do that. Ooh, that guy looks super cool. Come here. I want to off him first. Oh, I, w I wanted this hat. Oh, well. All right, we'll probably explore afterwards. Right now, I'm gonna get this journal. Yeah, I guess we're not gonna be doing much exploring because we're going straight to the journal. So there's that. This sword is actually pretty good. I like it. Even though I pretty much spec'd into uh, two-handed. Is this how Adrena time gets made? Probably. To think, I would want. Hold on. Once have been impressed by this monstrosity. I wonder if he said that because we completed his quest. It is pretty impressive, though. Not gonna lie. Do we have to go up there at all? Is this the place? I guess so. Like Alright, let's go this way first. Oh, that's that's the way out. Never mind. Yeah, let's go in here. Let's take a look around first before anything. Pick up watercolor painting. Okay. Let's avoid the front desk for a second. While we take a quick look around. You never know what we're going to find, after all. Hold on, where does this go? Just, it just goes back to the room we were in. I don't get it. Unless this room is gonna get locked down or something or or a boss is gonna come down and we have to escape there it is oh god Your 
choice, Captain. Never know safety again? And why should the future be any different from the past? Well, I thought about it, and I'm still gonna dropkick this coward the moment I get a chance. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, we did get a weapon, though. I'm curious about... Prototype? Light pistol? He does a lot of damage, and I'm not even specced into weapons. Like, guns, basically. That's cool. Yeah, well, I was right in my assessment about getting trapped in here. Too bad you can't keep a good man down. Oh, wait, so we need to go through the elevator now so we can get out of here. If he was smart, he would have locked this elevator, but... He isn't, and I'm proud of him for that. So, hold on. What's the mission now? We have to go deliver the journal, right? Enlist Pam's help? Oh, I think that's probably why you activate the security protocols. But we didn't, so it's okay. Speak to Minnie. Is she here? Is that is that why we have to talk to her? Well, no. Let's just activate her. I already killed everyone anyways. Don't be shy. How can I... Emergency combat protocols cannot be engaged at less than 73% power with please ensure that this you... Well, never mind. How can I increase your productivity today? Wait, hold on. Did I did I find the code? The code? How can I increase? So there's if there's an override code, it's gotta be in here somewhere, and I don't think it's in there. So let's double check this room. Maybe I missed something. Oh, excuse me. I'm sneezing up a storm over here. Or maybe there isn't, because this is just a bar. Don't know where Perfecto is, but I'm taking it anyway, just because I like it. This thing? Pam's override code. Got it. So then... Now we should be able to then, right? How can I increase? Uh. Override code. Pam Blam, thank you, ma'am. A2368. Password accepted. Congratulations. You are properly authorized to activate emergency combat protocols. Error. Employee's biometric ID does not match the student's uh -oh. designated manager. Proceeding with verbal management test. Pretend that this PAM unit is one of your employees who has been working long hours. What would you say to give them an extra pep pill in their step? Oh, this is going to be a speech check. Oh, crap. We're going to go to war with her. You're giving me a test after all the trouble I went through? Forget it. PAM never forgets when your next milestone is due. So don't worry. I'll be right there to remind you. How can I increase your productivity today? Uh, let's try the other the other thing let me think about it for a bit emergency combat protocols disengaged Pam units standing by how can I increase your productivity today you won't see you later Pam wait how do I get out of here again all right this way so we gotta talk to Minnie we got we officially got the journal this is like the end right Oh, that's for Pam's help. So, yep, back to the uh, landing strip. We're definitely going back to the mansion, the Ambrose mansion. She's not going to be happy that her mom basically had a lot to do with all the stuff that's going on here. An incoming signal, Captain. Let me guess, the mysterious man. Captain. Never mind. 
I see you've made some headway on Gorgon. Mother's old work terminal just lit up with a bunch of new protocols. Very exciting. What about Mother's journal? Any progress there? As a matter of fact, uh... Oh, I really wish I could tell her the truth. Yeah, I got the journal. I assume uh, you have the payment ready? Well, Project Oregon was a lot bigger than you led me to believe, Minnie. We can go over the details when this is finished. Until then, I want that journal. Can you hear me, Captain? Yes, I can I'm hear you. I'm getting some interference on my end. Captain. Captain! What is going on? Hello again, little weasel. Oh, what? I must admit, you've surprised me. Little weasel? I threw nearly everything I had at you. She's the mysterious and you figure. Overcame it all. She wasn't a freaking guy. She was a. It was Olivia the whole time. Yeah, got it. It's the ghost from the monitor. This is the best you could find, Wilhelmina. A freelancer with more guns than brain cells. Mother, it you're worked. alive. And I'm still on Gorgon? Um. Let's just listen. This is so you, Mother. Inserting yourself where you aren't needed and at the worst possible time. Am I disrupting your vanity project, you empty-headed little twit? Uh, yep, let's let them talk. Have you come back just to ruin everything again, Mother? At least this time, I have the power to stop you. Captain, this is a distraction. Let's set our differences aside and focus on what matters. Adrena time must never be revived. You know what? I don't disagree with her. <laughs> uh, revive the project? Okay, what's going on? I may not have told you all of the facts, but I'm going to lay out everything I know. You can decide for yourself what to do with it. By now, you realize that Project Gorgon was devoted to a single drug, Adrena time. A drug that hit the market in spite of calamitous side effects. Uh-huh. <clears throat> the project was a colossal failure. But you and I are going to revive it from the ashes. Uh, why? After everything I've seen? Absolutely. Um, let me see. <clears throat> yeah. Let's make more of the drug that turns people into deranged killers. Great plan. Adrena time was a lie. Our drug will fulfill its broken promise for workers and employers across the colony. Mother wasn't equal to the task. Thankfully for us both, I'm not my mother. I don't know about this, Minnie. <clears throat> Give it some thought, Captain. We've come so far together. Don't abandon me now. Mother's journal contains the activation codes for the Adrena Time Synthesizer, the key to a new Project Gorgon. We're going to start again, and this time with everything Project Gorgon didn't have. Better R&D, better scientists, clear goals, more funding, and a timeline that makes sense. Uh, do you think that's all it's going to take? Trust me, that's plenty. Mother never let me near the family business, but she taught me how not to manage a team. She straight up if lied I to me. If I can improve the chemistry, I can fix Adrena time. We can put this colony back on track together. With drugs? Uh, what's Adrena time got to do with anything? You've been to Terra too, haven't you? Uh huh. You've seen the poisonous fruits of my efforts, seen it, and fought it. Marauders, forged right here on Gorgon. Whatever others may tell you, they are people. People whose lives Adrena Time destroyed. Whose lives I destroyed. She's definitely remorseful. What about my life, Mother? The Ambrose name has no dignity anymore. I can't even show my face around Byzantium without being the gossip of the town. You... So this was literally all for her 
getting her recognition back is what I'm getting out of this. Let's let them talk. Every day workers slump over from exhaustion. The gears of industry swallow them whole and no one is coming to help. Adrena time is the break we can't fit into the schedule. The office with a window we can't afford to build. It's the best this rotten colony can do for people. Go on. Don't let those bloodless leeches at Spacer's Choice walk you down this perilous path, Wilhelmina. You haven't the fortitude to endure it. As usual, Mother projects her failures onto me. If she had let me get involved from the start, we might have avoided this calamity altogether. Are you just trying to prove yourself to your mother? <clears throat> My intentions are greater than some family squabbles. Besides, Mother is the one who should be proving herself to me. Fuck your intention. <laughs> what have you done? I always suspected you were nothing more than an empty-headed social climber. Oh, stop. Get She's your apart. daughter. Olivia, that's enough. <laughs> you will <laughs> not shut me up. I will speak my piece, even if it hurts. You see what I mean? Mother is afraid of being outdone by her empty-headed daughter, and she'll do anything to stop me. If I can save the colony and redeem the Ambrose family name, I owe it to myself to try. Mother be damned. I'm pretty sure I can go down a peaceful pro... Uh, let's try this. We already had our chance. Mother chose to bury the project and drag our family down with it. I won't allow her to make that mistake twice. In rehabilitating Adrena time, she would poison Halcyon. No, we are well past the point of compromise. The facility must be destroyed. We need that facility online, but I can't do it while Mother's still a problem. By now, she'll have shut down the Gorgon reactor. Deal with her however it suits you, and get that facility back up and running. Don't do this, Wilhelmina. Minnie, don't make this choice. Adrena time is our future. It's bigger than money, bigger than family. It's the colony's best hope. Man, okay. What would you have me do instead, Olivia? Return to my family's manor, Captain. Use the executive override code in my journal to activate the NDA protocol for my terminal. It will destroy the Gorgon drug synthesizer and put an end to Adrena time for good. Minnie will never allow that. My daughter's gotten her hooks into you. I understand. She's always had a knack for manipulating people. But I know you're more than her foolish little puppet. You've survived this long. You have to be more. She will try to force you to fight her. You don't have to. In fact, I would ask you not to. Whatever mistakes she might make, she... She is still my daughter. Captain, in light of recent events, I'm putting the manor under lockdown. Until Mother is dealt with, Anyone who lands here is presumed hostile. Finish the job. I know you won't disappoint me. Damn, so I gotta choose one or the other. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with this for now. I don't owe either of you anything. What I do next, I'm doing for my own reasons. Crap, dude, this is the ending. I'm almost certain we can make them b both work together. I'm almost certain of it, actually. But, uh, so, if if I had to guess or assume, there's probably three endings to this. Uh, maybe like a secret ending or something, I don't know. But there's three possible endings that I can see based off of the conversation that we just had. 
either A, we have a peaceful resolution between both of them, uh, B, we choose uh, Wilhelmina, or C, we choose to side with Olivia. Huh. Let me see. Where is this map? Nothing on Gorgon? So this is Olivia Ambrose. Unlock the elevator. That's gotta be over. All right, we're gonna do we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna do a hard save. We're gonna do a hard save here, and we're gonna try both endings, starting with here since we're already here with Olivia. Uh, yeah, we'll stay with these two. Should be pretty interesting. So how far is this? It's in the Sprat Shack? No. Oh, it's in that building we were already in. This should be very, very interesting to say the least. We're... I don't know if I should just kill her or talk to her and then provoke her to attack me. I don't know. Either way, let's try this. I want to see both endings, though. Because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do the peaceful resolution. Oh, God. We're going to have to fight Pam, aren't we? I'm on it. Oh, we got some free, free booters again. What's up, fellas? Come on, baby. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh, that's the last of him. I'm not going to save this. How do I get down there? Can I just go around this way? The way I came out from before? Uh, looks like I can. I'm just going to assume that I can. Oh, no. This goes up. All right, let's go back down then. So this way is a no-go. Therefore, I must find an alternative route. Are these open? Nope. Then this is closed la now. How do I get down there then? And then there's nothing in here. Maybe I do have to go up the elevator and then just work my way around. Because this is where? It's, yeah, it's below us. Let's try it. Hopefully it's not going to make it more complicated but than it has to be. But we'll see. The original door that we used to get down is locked now, so I can't go that way. Um. Huh. I think we're gonna have to do this completely backwards. Is this? All right, good. So that this is not the way. <clears throat> All right, where where did we come in from? We came in from right there. So we gotta go. All the way around. Just out of curiosity, would there be somebody here now? No. So, there's another elevator on the far side, and I'm pretty sure that's how you get there. Of course, this is all just a su assumption since I haven't played this before. She's not going to be very happy with us. Like, it doesn't matter which way we go. Either way, we're going to have to fight someone. Either the lockdown security or apparently these tossball players. Alright, let me see. How can I go downstairs? I 
I don't even I this place is so big I don't remember my way around it, there we go downstairs we go there really isn't that much resistance though I I found the kitchen um this way I wonder where all the resistance is nowhere to be found apparently they're really making this easy for me oh it's sealed that's why there's no enemies this isn't the right way to go <clears throat> sadly this is yeah I gotta find a way to go further down So, in the front lobby, there has to be a way down. Oh, this door is open. How did I not know this? I guess that one's sealed, but this one's open. I guess that would have made sense. There we go. More stairs, huh? At least we're getting a good workout. I suppose. So, let's see. Transition to send. This is manufacturing center. Got it. That makes a lot of sense now. This guy doesn't have a head. Gotta make sure it's not unique. Because if it is, I want it. You guys take care of the I'm far guys. Come on, baby. Let's go. So much for your toss ball skills. I really can't see how anyone could work in a place like this. Me either. You, count on me, boss. you go left. Oh, uh, you go right. I'll go left. Ooh, does he have heavy armor? He does. Only if I can find a heavy helmet. Go. Got him. Well, it doesn't... Actually, I guess it doesn't... Whoops. I guess it doesn't really matter to have that since I'm not... I'm not gonna save this. So let's go ahead and get rid of it. So one of these guys probably have the key. Of course. The same could be said for this entire colony. Let me see here. Do any of you guys have the key? Oh, probably not. Let's just go through here. Oh, no. I already went through here. Oh, no. There's an alternate way. Got it. Track it. I don't know why I have my pistol out. I really don't. You die. Come on, baby. You're not going to be medicalizing anyone. <laughs> oh, wait. Take care of the medical drone, guys. I don't know where he went. Thank you for your sacrifice. Where is that? Where did that other one go? All right, screw it. I'm not I'm not waiting around for one stupid little medical drone to come back. Is that it right there? Oh, come on. Yeah, you you didn't really stand a chance there, huh? Screw you, medical drone. Nice. Oh, this is it. It's gotta be it. I wonder if she's ready for her comeuppance. Ready when you are, boss. Oh, I'm ready. You guys don't even have armors.
Hello? Miss Olivia Ambrose, I'm here to do you in. Come a long way. Let's finish this. Uh, yes, sir. Uh-oh. I'll give you one thing, little weasel. You are relentless. I did everything in my power to stop you, yet here you stand before me, offensively alive. Just so we're clear, if you intend to restart this machine, you'll have to go through me. <laughs> Don't move a muscle, lady. Uh, shove her into the reactor? Can we talk through this? I'm done talking. Cooperation, compromise, consensus. It resolves nothing. All that remains is action and inaction. Kill me, or let me destroy this place. Uh, I don't want to kill you, just, uh, you could just walk away? If you believe this will be that simple, you haven't been paying attention. I can no more walk away than I can voluntarily cease breathing. Sure you can. You could start right now. <laughs> easy. I will die before I let my empty-headed daughter resurrect Adrena time. Do you understand? Uh, it's not too late. You can work together with Minnie and Spacer's Choice. There is no working with Spacer's Choice. You work for them. If you refuse, they sell your contract to a rival firm staffed by your enemies, or seize your housing and turn you out onto the street. And if you've really irritated them, they simply kill you. Uh, well, good thing I'm here to destroy the board then, huh? An inside job? Huh. Even Sophia will never see that coming. Who would want to give up all that power? Sincerely, I wish you luck. I suspect you're just about the only person in this colony who believes that's possible. Besides that madman, Wells. And judging by his wanted poster, he's always lived on the tail end of the sanity <laughs> You're not far from the truth. He has it right. The board doesn't care for Halcyon. They'll do anything and use anyone to see their ends met. The state of the colony is ample evidence of that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I kind of want to push her into the thing, though. I might reload a save and just push her in. Uh, trying to clean up your mess. She has no intention of curing the marauders. She's only going to make more of them. Adrena time is addictive. It's poison. The only way they can perfect it is by making it more irresistible. Uh, you might change your mind, uh, with a gun on your head? The only way you're touching this reactor is over my dead body. She is tough. And I am not afraid to die, Captain. I like her. I'm losing my patience, Olivia. Very well. I'd like to ask you something before we end this farce. I think I'm due that much, at least. Uh, let's see here. Let's hear it! You've plumbed all the sordid depths of Gorgon. You know how many lives my work destroyed. And still, you want to revive it. Why? <laughs> I want to prove to the important people that I'm a big brain genius like you. <laughs> In their eyes, the best way to do that <laughs> is by doing exactly what they say. Congratulations, Captain. You've done it. I hope their regard is worth what the colony will pay for it. But enough. You didn't come here for a lecture. Let's get this charade over with. Oh, I'm so shoving her into the reactor. It's so gonna happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I 
can't believe that was an option. Oh my god. That was, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I'm assuming now we're going... <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. That was hilarious. We just shoved her into the reactor before she can react and take out her pistol. That was funny. That was a good ending on that side. So now we're going back to the old reliable. And this time... Oh, we have to finish this quest, obviously, but once we finish it, we're going to reload the save and we're going to try it again, but this time siding with, uh, with Minnie. Or, uh, with Olivia. So for now, we need to go... Hold on. To Ambrose Manor. And she's dead. So I think we should be good to just walk in. I guess. Because she said... I think we're going to have to fight regardless, aren't we? Let me look at them. Let me look at this. Oh, I forgot to turn this in. Oops. Oh, I forgot to turn on the thing. Let's, uh... Let's reload. Oh, man, we're gonna have to go through this again. Oh, there we go. Right here. Where does this go? <clears throat> Hopefully there was an autosave. Yeah, okay, so that's not the one. Let's check this one out. It might be the first autosave. If not, we're going to have to do that all over again. Okay. So, it is... It is this one. This one should be... Okay, that's perfect. All right. I forgot to I forgot to turn this on. What is this thing? Equilibrium? It's a new weapon too? All right. I'll take it. Green light protocol. Return to mini. I'm also very over encumbered. So let's uh, destroy a couple of these. That's all I needed. I don't need anything spectacular. So now we can officially get out of here. Hold on, is there a separate way to go? Yeah, it's the one through the office, of course. And I guess we're going to go talk to Minnie now. And let her know that we have accomplished the mission and see what happens there. Mini, I'm coming for you. Perfect. This should be pretty freaking awesome, dude. I can't wait to find out what she says. So now we're going to, of course, Gorgon Ambrose Manor. Mini, Mini, guess what I got for you? I got you everything you need and wanted. Now pay me 90 trillion bits or it's your head too. And let's go. <laughs> Drinks the butler's still laying there, isn't he? That was funny. That was, that was hilarious. That was a very funny part of this DLC. And it started off that way too. Oh, Minnie. I need to talk to you. Hey, what's up, girl? 
You've done it. I did. The Gorgon asteroid is under my control. The Ambrose family curse is broken. And my legacy <sighs> will rise from the ashes in triumph. Thank you, Captain. We're going to change the Halcyon colony. This time for the better. As for Mother, what's done is done. I grieved for her long ago. The woman who perished on Gorgon was only her shadow. Wait, then who did I kill? <laughs> you don't have a firm grasp of metaphor, do you? <laughs> I haven't forgotten your pain. Here's a little extra for your discretion. I really hope you made the right decision, boss. Of course my gratitude goes out to your crew as well. Equal contributors all, I'm sure. This has been a long time coming, Captain. I can finally get on with my life. And the colony can begin to heal. Where do you go from here? What heroic challenge will the intrepid captain of the unreliable conquer next? Ah. Uh. I'm collaborating with a wanted outlaw on a plan to help the colony. Scandalous. I expect nothing less. You have a knack for aiming your sights high and shooting blind. We have that much in common. Good luck out there, Captain. I would wish you safe travels, but I do so admire how you rush headlong into danger. Keep it that way, won't you? Sure, why not? Wink and make a fire... a, f uh, a finger gun? I kind of like that, actually. That That's it? Hope docking base? Let me see. Okay. So that's just the end of that one. So let's go ahead and load the hard save. And then we'll do the other ending. So this time we got to go to... To the manor. Right? This time we're doing it backwards. Oh wait, we're going to the Ambrose Manor. And let Wilhelmina know... That is death and destruction. Because we already tried the peace way. Uh, and uh, frankly speaking, we, we can't. We're not smart enough. Go. This one should be a lot easier to navigate through. So let's like see. Activated security around the manor. Duh. We best watch our step, Captain. She we'll be all right. Coming. We'll be all right. I think you guys are overthinking this. Count on me, boss. You guys take care of him. I'll take care of this guy. Anybody else? All right, you guys actually go grab that guy. All right, I'll help. Never mind. We got him. Oh, you want some too? What's up, buddy? Oh god, don't hit, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Well done. Perfect. We're still alive. Barely. Oh, and she's not even here. Okay, so this is an alternative way then. Oh, what's this? Unlock elevator. Wait, what is this? Oh, I found the master bedroom key. Let's go look in there real quick. You never know what we're gonna find. There's probably like a unique or something in here. Eh, probably not. I'm probably just... Wait. Yeah, there is a unique. Doctor's orders. Does N-ray damage. Nice. Dear Wilhelmina, I hope this letter finds you well. Time out. It's too stilted. It sounds like I'm writing to request a loan. Dearest Wilhelmina, I regret to tell you. Law, no, that's worse. When have I ever called her dearest? <sighs> She's my daughter. This should be easy. How can a mother not know how to talk to her own daughter? My love, I can no longer... I want to listen to this real fast. Safety, I must... Oh, hell. You 
even if she despises me for what I, what I had to do, I should still be able to say goodbye. Minnie, I have to leave, and I don't intend to come back. I love you. I'm so sorry. That's really sad, to be honest. Really, really sad, but I... No, putting it in context now, I understand. Yes. You guys go that way. I'll go this way. What's up, fella? They got test subjects here. Who's shooting at me? Oh, God. Oh, this is so much better. Since it's acid. That's the last of Done so. Good job, fellas. Alright, you guys can take care of that guy. Go kill him. I got this. Alright, here we go. You could have reloaded first, Felix. Alright, you go that one, I'll go this one. I like how we're Splitting up the uh, the enemy the enemies here, divide and conquer in a different type of way, I suppose. Anything useful down here? Eh, no, not really. So this has to be it, right? Didn't I warn you not to set foot in here until the job was done? You should have listened to my advice. Uh, let's talk about this. There's nothing to discuss. I can fix Adrena time without you, and certainly without Mother. You wasted your time coming here, and worse, you wasted mine. But I won't let anything stand in the way of progress. Uh, we need you to stand down. I intend to destroy this... Pr no, let me see. What if you and your mother joined forces? You'll surprise me, Captain. Once we fix the chemistry of Adrena time, the Marauder problem will simply take care of itself. If you fix it, there's always the possibility you'll make it worse. The days of the old Adrena time are numbered, and Marauders are bound for extinction. If you won't compromise, uh, stand down. This doesn't have to get ugly. Stand down? I think not, Captain. People want to buy clean drugs. And I want to sell them. Under my leadership, Adrena Time will live up to its promise. Unlike certain mothers. I have a hundred science? So I guess I can do this. I might have to do this twice. Adre Adrena Time is a disaster. Uh, its legacy needs to end. Do you know why it was a disaster? Rushed production, cut corners, and a failure to communicate. Mother's mistakes, not mine. My drug will be the pride and joy of the Ambrose family. And if we pick up where Gorgon left off, then the human testing phase is well ahead of schedule. I don't want to fight you, uh, Minnie. Don't force my hand. Farewell, Captain. If it wasn't already obvious, you're fired. Oh, never mind. So I can't do the, the happy ending. Leave them to me. It's pretty obvious there's a happy ending to all of this. Perfect. I'm definitely going to have to come back with my high dialogue character. Come on, fellas. One for all. This weapon is so much more effective against these things. That's the last of them. Okay. Let's talk to her. Oh, she's not even here. DNA protocol. Oh, snap. it, Captain. You've put Gorgon down once and for all. 
I only wish that Minnie had seen reason. The good we could have done together. Join me for a toast in the drawing room. I do believe you're due a reward. Is it just me, or does this feel like a trap to anybody else? Hand to law, Captain. I mean you no harm. Better be. Uh, high five intercom. <laughs> Great job. Eat sparse dirt, Gorgon. Quit fooling around and meet me upstairs. I'll have a <laughs> drink waiting. Cool. <clears throat> so let's go upstairs. Talk to Olivia. It's crazy that she's here. But where's Minnie if, if, if Olivia's here? Also, why is she in a why is she in a cave? Okay, this is weird. This is very weird. I just want to look around real quick. Okay, I don't want to read that. That's just an officer's spine. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much up here. Where am I on the map? That's pretty... It's pretty interesting. Alright, whatever. Let's go. Knock, knock. Oh, we're on the... Oh, that makes sense. Yes, drinks the butler. I'm sorry, but I can't help you right now. You're too heavy for me. We gotta talk to Olivia. Also, I still want to know where Minnie is. She kind of like disappeared off the face of the earth. There she is. What's up, Olivia? Captain, I believe a celebration is in order. The Gorgon Project is dead. And we are not. Um. <laughs> I have the weirdest deja vu right now. Speak up, Captain. I can't hear a thing when you mumble like that. Knock back glass of whiskey. I said I'm having the greatest time right now. <laughs> to time then <laughs> and burying the past beneath ten tons of toxic rubble shall we toast give a rousing toast to our health ours and halcyons may the best of the past be the worst of our future though I sincerely doubt it nice it's funny when Spacer's Choice released Adrena Time to the public and began the Marauder Crisis, and I sabotaged all the Gorgon facilities, I thought that was the end for me. Then you came along and changed everything. I find myself at loose ends now, Captain. What happens next? Uh... Have you thought about where you'll go from here? Maybe I'll find a handsome little bolt hole out there in the aether and endeavor to keep a low profile, as they say. Maybe I'll pick up a soothing, useless hobby, like watercolor painting. Spacer's Choice will want to take their turn at revenge, and I'd rather not be within reach when they do. Yeah, that's a good point. Show Minnie's watercolor painting. Speaking of water coolers, I found this. <clears throat> Wilhelmina's artwork. Oh, look at this. It's just awful. <laughs> Who talks about the kid's artwork like that? <laughs> Ain't a doctor or anything? I'm starting to see where these family issues are coming from. <laughs> oh, that was funny. The colors are muddy, the shadows are all wrong, and it hardly looks anything like a canid. May I keep this? She's just acknowledging that it looks terrible, but she loves it because it came from her daughter. I understand. I think I get her, to be honest. Knock yourself out. 
I'll take that as a yes. Thank you, Captain. I think it'll look a treat on the walls of my hideout. Memories and all that. So did she, did Minnie die? Don't let those corporate bastards catch you. I'll take it a day at a time. Run when I have to. Hide when I can. There's no glory in it. But I'm eager to put those days behind me. Where will the future lead you, Captain? Uh... <laughs> well, I've been hankering for some ice cream. Have you tried bijous? Nothing like a cold bowl and a hot show. Though they closed for renovations, last I heard. In any case, I do believe this is the end. Law willing, Adrena time is dead for good. And the Marauders will die out with it. Goodbye, Captain. And thank you again. May the stellar wind be ever at your back. That's good. Clap, uh, clap yourself on the back. That's a weird way to say that. I always say pat yourself on the back. Attaboy. Nice. So that's it. We did it. That's going to go ahead and do it for this one, guys. This DLC was fantastic. I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I had an absolute blast with it. I really wish I could have done the uh, good ending, I guess it would have been, where they work together. I'm assuming that's the good ending, only because... Uh, there's a lot of bloodshed on both sides if you decide to take a side, you know what I mean? And working together to cure the Marauders is probably, uh, you know, morally the good answer. So, I don't know, maybe that would have been the better thing. I might just uh, go and immediately start a new uh, playthrough of this DLC with my uh, high, high dialogue and speech checks character uh, slash companions character. Just so that I could get that ending. This game was fantastic uh, all the way around. And I'm very excited to start the new DLC that by the time this video comes out, it's probably already out. But if not, it's going to come out within a few days or so. So I'm going to be starting that pretty immediately after this video ends. So if you enjoyed this series or this video, do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said... Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.